take a look at this quote right here. I love this quote. It says, an investment in today's youth is an investment in tomorrow's leaders. That's the motto of the Tesson Foundation, which cultivates unique learning opportunities for students, primarily in elementary schools. Now, with that mantra, we are excited that the Tesson Foundation is sponsoring our Supplies for Success School Supplies Drive. Here with more on that. The foundation and how teachers can apply for these grants is our first guest. Please help me welcome to the show, Tiffany Hillegas with the Tesson Foundation. Welcome. Good morning. How are you? I am good. Thank you so much for not only sponsoring our wonderful Supplies for Success school drive that is starting this Thursday, but also what a great foundation that you all have. Look, I mentioned you all's mantra just a little bit ago which is awesome, by the way. But please, tell us a little bit more about the Tesson Foundation and how you all are helping children across our community. Absolutely. Thank you again, Malik, for having me here. Um, the Tesson Foundation, the goal is to reach out into the community and to be able to offer grants to teachers who would like to um, provide more materials, um, curriculum into their classroom to support learning. For example, STEM programs or perhaps reading at home programs, being able to supply children with books that they're able to take home and the parents can read. Um, the goal really is to be able to get out into the community and to be able to bridge that gap between home learning and school learning. It is absolutely amazing. You all have a lot of great goals. We want to show people more about the goals that you all have. And what's cool is, like you said, you all are giving grants to people, which I think is awesome. Please tell me a little bit more about the type of grants you all give to people who apply. Well, the grants are really specific to um, teacher and classroom needs. And the process is that a teacher, if she has an idea to do something, um, for example, I'm just going to use STEM as an example that she wants to bring into her classroom to enhance math learning and science learning. She would get on he or she would get on to the site and apply for a grant. Um, the grant process, it, the website white walks you through all of the steps that are necessary and the requirements. Which is awesome. Yeah, we want to take a look because you all have different types of grants from yes. early impact grants, which is under 10,000, all the way up to multi-year transformation grants, which is yes. under 50,000, which can be spent over four calendar years. I love that. And I'm so curious. Please tell me, Tiffany, why you all decided to choose education, schools as the thing that you all support in this foundation? Well, myself, I'm an educator and um, my brother was an educator and we just found the need after sitting down and talking with family members that this is this is where we need to be able to give back, really, to give back into the community and give into schools and really being able to impact um, early learning. So, I mean, studies have shown and research has shown that we need to um, get in there when they're little and support their learning in any way that we can, whether it's through materials or books or programs, um, anything of that nature that's going to get parents involved, get schools involved, and most importantly, get kids involved and get them motivated in their learning. It's so amazing what you all are doing. And I'm curious, you know, again, you all support schools. Pre-K through eight is the age range of schools that you all support. Grant applications are open now and you all are still giving out grant money. Is it any type of school, public, Catholic, charter? Any type of school, any type of school. We just want to be able to find the need and give where the need is. It is absolutely amazing. Thank you all so much for helping us with our Supplies for Success School Drive. Tiffany, everyone with the Tesson Foundation. For more information about the grants being offered and how to apply, it's all on the website, Tesson Foundation. Dot org. Now, if you're wondering what we're collecting for our supplies for success, school supplies drive, take a look at your screens right here. Binders, pens, paper, art supplies, really any basic school supplies, we will be accepted. If you're wondering where we're going to be, we're going to be in four different parishes, everyone. The first one will be in St. Tammy Parish. This Thursday, we'll be at the Winn-Dixie on Dawes Boulevard in Slidell. We'll be there from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Then on Friday, we're headed to St. Charles Parish. We'll be there at the same time from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Winn-Dixie on Highway 90 in Luling. I will be out there both days, so come by and say hi. And of course, 
bring supplies. Then, if you can't make it this week, guess what? We'll be in Orleans and Jefferson Parishes the following week. We are going to be there at the Metairie Winn-Dixie on Thursday the 29th on Veterans. And Friday the 30th will be in New Orleans at the Winn-Dixie on North Carrollton. It'll be the same time from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come on out and let's help make these kids successful for the upcoming school year. Now, look, everyone, we have a lot coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere. Stick with us. <laughs> 